What's going on guys? Hope everyone is doing well. So I'm gonna walk you through the new firmware update, the only firmware update so far for the Rode Wireless Go 2 mics. So this firmware update was just released. I believe I actually saw it on their Instagram story and I don't know what exactly is entailed. I kind of have an idea, but I figured why not walk you through the process and let's see what we come up with. So their link actually was wrong, but we go to Rode.com and it was, what was it actually? Let me see. This is the, it was road.com wireless go without this explanation point, which they had wrong in their post. So we go here and then we can go down, I believe to support and we need to download road central. And I haven't done that yet. So I have a Mac, this iMac. I'm going to go ahead and do this little process that's asking me to enter my email. I'm going to go ahead. I already I believe I'm signed up for the newsletter and download. So we're going to go ahead and download this. It shouldn't take long. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install this guy. Continue, continue, agree, install, enter my secret code. So that was easy. Move that to the trash, the installer. I'll minimize this for a moment. Minimize my screen flow, last recording. I'm gonna go Command N for a new finder window. Go to Applications. And I'm gonna to go to Road Central right down here. So this is what the app actually looks like. I'm gonna double click on it to open it. But right now I have one of their USB-C to USB-A. I guess I'll just connect. I don't know what I need to connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect, I guess the receiver, one of the receivers. I'll do with one of the receivers and see what happens. So I'm just gonna kinda of go with this and plug this into the back of the computer. Do, do, do. Let me see. I wonder if I can plug it into this hub. It may not need a lot of power. So I'll plug it into the hub. Hopefully that suffices. Okay, to use this device with Rode Central, it will need to be updated. So we're gonna go ahead and update. So I just plugged in one of the receivers to start out with. It says update in progress. So this is what we're experiencing so far. Pretty easy, nothing crazy. Please do not unplug any of your devices. The firmware update hasn't been completed. You may now close, or no, you may now use this device with Rode Central. Okay, we're gonna hit okay to this. We got this little pop-up saying Rode Central would like to access files on a removable volume. Okay, version 1.6.0, done. So that, I believe, is done. Let's check. Um, so right now this update, one of the main reasons for the firmware update is to utilize the onboard recording. So we could not have to be connected. You're basically your transmitter and receiver won't have to be communicating. You could actually just go ahead and use one of these receivers in the field, like a field recorder without having it connected to anything. So that's really handy and really cool just to go and capture some B-roll or whatever you may wanna do. If you wanna make a memo or just do anything essentially. You don't have to mess around. You just have one of your receivers and you go ahead and talk into it and do what you want and you'll get some audio. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to see over here. We have backup off always. So backup off always. I don't even know. I think it's, I gotta look into the settings. I think it's only when it has broadcast quality uncompressed. If I go ahead and toggle this, let me see. Off, standard quality compressed. That's supposedly still doing it. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave this right now to always and we'll go from there. But the firmware update is 1.6.0. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this guy. So I have one of my receivers I don't think I need to unmount it. I'm just gonna unplug it and I'm gonna plug the other one in. So now plug this guy in. This is receiver number two. I'm gonna launch Road Central one more time. 
and it says update required. So it automatically detects that we need an update. To use this device with Rode Central, it need to be updated. Yes, that's the whole plan. So right now I'm on version 1.0.0. And as you see, this is real time. It basically chugs through the update and takes a matter of 10 seconds roughly. Boom, should be done. Progress bar is almost complete. And that's it. Update complete. The firmware update has been completed. You may now use this device with Rode Central. So 1.6.0. So we got, again, this guy done. Boom. And everything looks pretty good. So right now it's defaulting the broadcast quality uncompressed. We see the firmware update. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy out. And we're going to go ahead and now put in, this is the transmitter. And let's see what happens here. So we're going to go ahead and put the transmitter into the USB-C connection. Launch Road Central, same thing. To use this device, we're on 1.0.0. We're going to update 11000, 21000, 31000, 41000, 51000, 61000, 71000, 81000, 91000, 10, 1000. So roughly 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever. 10 to 15 seconds, I guess, would be the average. And we have 1.6.0. So now we have all of our guys set up. So all three, two receivers, one transmitter, all updated to 1.6.0. That took probably, what, five minutes? I don't know what the recording is right now, but as you see, really simple. So basically we have our settings for our transmitter, backlight on, off, the gain mode fine, or course. I'll probably keep it on course for now. And then that's about it. Split, merged, We'll keep it basically at the default settings. But again, this is exactly what you need to do to update your Rode Wireless 2 to the latest 1.6.0 firmware. All you need to do is essentially go to rode.com forward slash wireless go to, hit enter, scroll down to the bottom of the page and you're gonna see this little area for downloads. Download your Rode Central, whether it's a Mac or PC or Windows. Do your download and then go ahead and open up the application and just use one of the connecting cables that comes with the Wireless 2 Go and plug each one of them in. So again, I did all three in a matter of a few minutes. So I'm hoping that helps walk you through the initial firmware for the Wireless Go 2. Boom, aloha guys, peace.